morning students on today's lecture I'll cover line of symmetry with shaded boxes sometimes uh, in your O-level question paper they were gonna ask you a question that um, if you have a equilateral triangle is like that with lot of small equilateral triangle inside that and some of the boxes or some of the triangles are shaded and they might ask you to shade one or more than one boxes to have some line of symmetry how to do that I hope you remember the last video that when I have an equilateral triangle then from the vertex to the opposite side if I draw a perpendicular line this is one line of symmetry so it goes the same with other from this vertex to this opposite side and over here this one um, from this vertex to the opposite side there are three line of symmetry so most of the students, what do they do? They just randomly try to figure it out, wasting a lot of time. But you need to go a systematic way so you can uh, save some time. Uh, time management is a big issue whenever you are sitting for O-level exams. Okay, so you need to uh, have a plan how you're going to do that. So I'll show you how to do this. Okay, let's say if I, if I, if I just draw this one, I'm going to sketch this one. Okay, so hopefully it's going to be looking nice. I'm gonna try to make it look nice and then how it goes probably it goes this way and that way I I think I made mistakes somewhere uh, one two three one, uh, this this is a bad diagram okay yeah I think uh, this one 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 two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and one two three four five one two three four five this is yeah this is a bad one okay so the shaded part is this one and this one okay now if I draw uh, if I draw the uh, perpendicular line from here to here and then if I fold it this this shaded box or shaded triangle will fall over here but this is not shaded okay and this one will fall onto this one it's not shaded either so this line of symmetry is not gonna work Let's try with another line of symmetry. That's number two. So I already have this, okay? So half of this box, half of this triangle is coincided with other. And this one, if I shade this part, okay? This part, then it seems like by drawing just one, shading one triangle, I'm gonna have one line of symmetry, okay? What do I mean by that? See, there are, there are three line I can draw one is through this vertex to the opposite side and another one is like uh, see uh, the same thing uh, if I fold it through here this box will fall in this one this is shaded this is not shaded so this is not a line of symmetry and this one also gonna be sitting as, uh, as coincided with this one which is non shaded uh, triangle so this line of symmetry is not gonna work for us okay what about this one if we go like that see this half region I'm gonna I'm gonna use this blue background over here see that uh, this green one the half of the triangle is gonna coincide with this one and this will coincide over here so if I just shade this part shade this part I hope you can see that through this line of symmetry too if I fold it this whole triangle will fall in this one this part of this triangle will coincide with that one so this is my one line of symmetry okay let's try with this one the last one I have the third line of symmetry okay if I if I fold this one this is gonna be fall over here that's non um, shaded region and this one will be fall in there so this is not gonna work only this line I have this one drawn for you I hope you can see that if you fold it through this line here I'm gonna fold this I hope you can realize this through this line if I fold it then it's gonna make uh, I hope you can see this okay see that this line is this triangle is coincided with this one and half of this triangle is coincided with half of that part okay see that this is our line of symmetry okay so this answer is gonna be this line okay let's try a different one it's a square okay I hope you remember the line of symmetry of the squares. If I have this squares, there are four line of symmetry. One is vertical, another one is horizontal, and there are two 
line up symmetry with the diagonal. So one, two, three, and four. Let's try with first one, this one. Okay, if I draw this one, again, I'm gonna use the blue background. Okay, if I draw this line of symmetry, if I fold this through this, this line, I can see that this triangle, this, uh, this uh, square gonna be following this one, non-shaded box, and this two is gonna be fall over here. So to make this one line of symmetry, I have to shade one, two, three boxes. But the question, again, asking one box, to shade okay so this is not good okay what if I fold it horizontally like that you can see this if I if I fold it horizontally like that this square is gonna fall into this one and this gonna be falling to this one so again one two three so this is not good either this is no good then I can go with this line of symmetry diagonally okay so this I need to uh, uh, coincide this one with this square and this two with this so this is not again uh, right choice because there are three boxes to shade what if I'm gonna use the red one what if I fold it through here okay see I fold it through this red line diagonally this side red line okay if I fold it you can see that this half triangle is coincided with this one this half coincided with this one only this triangle that's the, the, the only sorry uh, this this square if I shade this region okay then that's only one box I'm shading and then I'm gonna have this line this red line is a line of symmetry can you see that okay I hope you can see this one all right so uh, if I have this and uh, one more one more one more so this three two and this one is another one and this one is another one so this line is the line of symmetry when I shade this particular box okay now rectangle okay rectangle again the question is just shade one more one more uh, box to um, have uh, one line of symmetry again if we go like this let me use the red one if I go like this then this box will uh, coincide with this one which is unshaded so i need to shade this one this one will be here i need to shade another one this one with this one so one two three boxes so that's not a good idea now from here this this diag yeah horizontally this is the midpoint okay middle of this line if i fold it here this half rectangle uh, this square is split in two half rectangles. So this rectangle will coincide with this one. This one will coincide with this one. Then what happens? See that if I do this, okay, then only this part I have to fall in this one. So if I shade this part, this box, okay, then I'm going to have this line of symmetry, this one, okay, only uh, shading one box. I have drawn this one for you previously. See that when I have this line of symmetry, this uh, rectangular box coincides with this one, this uh, with this one, and this one. After shading this box, it's line of symmetry. Okay, this this gives me line of symmetry by just shading one box. Um, my suggestion would be um, check the previous um, question papers if you find any question like that. Go ahead and practice that. You can make a uh, lot of practice. Or you can do what? You can just make um, square boxes like this. Okay, I'm just gonna show you this. I have done that one before. Okay, this is rectangle with four by three, 12 uh, squares inside. And there are 16 um, squares inside this bigger square. And there are a lot of triangles inside that one. If you can do this and you can just play some games um, not to, to find out the line of symmetry just by uh, shading some of the boxes okay try that hopefully it will be easier for you if you don't understand anything please leave a comment I'll get back to you as soon as possible okay take care have a good day